For this stem byte, I'd like to show you a classic problem in calculus by playing with these old cardboard blocks. Typically when you play with blocks, the goal is to build a tower as tall as you can. In this case though, I want to build a tower as far as I can. I'm going to start with these blocks as my base, and then I'm going to use these rectangular blocks to try to see how far can I build a staircase that goes up, up, up. Now you should play around with this and try to figure it out. One of the first things you'll realize is that the top block that you place on here can really only stay if its, its center of mass effectively is, is right over the edge. So you need half of it to still be over the support beneath it, right? And now if I were to add another block to this, it so in essence what has to happen is my bottom block can go over a ways and then my top block can go over even further, right? And by doing this kind of in reverse, starting with the tower and kind of moving it over, I can build a long bridge. Let's try it. Oh. Ah. What you'll pretty quickly notice is there's a pattern that you have to follow. While the top block can go halfway out, okay, the next block can't go nearly as far. Oh. That's pretty good. Now the way this challenge is often phrased is can you get this top box so that its far left edge is all the way past the bottom block? And it looks like I've done that. Now the math question here is how far does this bridge extend, right, given the number of blocks I have? And the trick here is that it's like a sum. You would take one block, you would add to it one over two blocks, you'd add to it one over three blocks, you'd add to it over one over four, etc. It becomes this infinite sum. In calculus, we'd use an integral. Something like an integral of one over the number of blocks. When you take the integral of a function like that, you get a very specific answer. And I can actually kind of see the answer. Beep, do. And if I knock down my tower of blocks, I can see I have a mathematical function, which is like my answer. And in fact, what this function is starting to do, and it would continue to do, is a shape called the natural log. The integral of 1 over x is actually a function, which is the natural logarithm. Who knew that you could see calculus with children's building blocks? Pretty cool. Stand by.